Long life to you, friend. How you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. As I mentioned in my update video yesterday, we're gonna be, this is the first in a few extra videos talking about uh, different pieces of the channel and trying to get your feedback and your input on what you guys want so that I can create this channel to be something that delivers as much value to you as, as possible. So um, anyways, today we were talking about series, new video games and new series and, and ideas and that sort of thing coming up. And what I want for this video is I'm gonna list off a number of different series and I would love for you guys to just leave a comment down below that says, Number one, I would love to like number one and then this series or this channel or this game or something like that and then rank what you guys want as far as these different videos, as far as these different series. So number one being absolutely I want to see this, this is going to be excellent, let's keep, let's make more of this and then whatever the lowest number is, uh, I don't really care about seeing this type of video. So that's what I want. All right. So as I said in my series update or my channel update yesterday, uh, the next potential series is Greedfall. So Greedfall is kind of this, um, it's a fantasy RPG, uh, but it's kind of set in this era of like, you know, early guns and they still use swords, but there's also magic and all this sort of stuff. Um, you can find like, I think there's like a 13 minute gameplay video on YouTube that you guys can find. Looks really interesting. Uh, I think that looks really good. Um, supposedly there are no fetch quests. Supposedly uh, it's got like very story driven and character driven quests. And so that really appeals to me. I would love to, to do that. So if the reviews are good, good, then I will buy it and I will be playing it on the channel. So let me know what you guys think about Greedfall. And uh, let me know that down in the comments. Uh, second potential series coming up, The Outer Worlds. So this is create, um, The Outer Worlds is, for lack of a better term, it's basically Fallout in space. Um, it, the original creators of Fallout, they came back and they've basically created a new IP that essentially takes the best parts of Fallout and doesn't ruin them with obscene monetization and other things. So they're basically kind of recovering and taking back their old vision from Bethesda, which I think is really cool. Um, the game looks really, really interesting, really interesting quests and uh, the ability to do all sorts of like negotiation and stealth and skills and all this sort of stuff. Uh, more RPG elements than the action elements that we're seeing in the modern um, Fallout series. So I think that that's really neat. And I would you know, again, if the reviews are good, then potentially we could play that on the channel. So let me know if you are interested in that. I believe that comes out October 25th. So that's about a month and a half from the creation of this video. Um, but it looks like a pretty good game. Um, another idea that I had for a new series would basically be a community Minecraft world. So Minecraft obviously is a game that's been around for a long time. Lots of people play it. And I'm trying to build a better sense of community here on the channel, which is why I'm doing a lot of these um, these videos asking for your feedback and your comments. Um, but I think that one way to do that would be to have a community style game that we can play together, that we can do updates on, that sort of thing. So my idea is basically to have a Minecraft server for our community. If you join, then we'll block off a little plot of land and you can build whatever you want in that plot of land. And then I can come through and I can review things and give critiques and updates and, and try different things. And, but basically almost just kind of like sectioning it off and like, I don't know. I don't know if you ever, ever seen like those, um, like sandcastle building competitions where like everyone has a plot of, of like sand an area on the beach and they just build these huge castles and, and, and sculptures and that sort of thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think that that would be pretty cool. Um, it also could integrate pretty well with uh, discord, just having like a Minecraft server, you know, maybe having like one server that's just for like these creative builds and another server where it's like community survival mode on hard or something like that. I don't know. So let me know what you think about Minecraft, if that's something that you'd be interested in participating in or just seeing here on the channel. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, obviously more Skyrim. <laughs> Are you interested in seeing more Skyrim? So I announced yesterday that kind of going on a hiatus from my Rise of the Sky Raider. Uh, series just because it's not doing well, having problems with recording and problems with uh, SKSE, one of the mods that's used to support a bunch of other mods. Um, but are you interested in seeing more Skyrim or are you kind of tired of it? Do you want to take a break? Is that something that, you know, maybe you're looking for, you know, six months off of, of Skyrim or just like another series, you know, going back and forth, Skyrim series, different series, Skyrim series, different series, that sort of thing. Um, I do have at least three more characters, correction, four more characters that I'm extremely interested in pursuing. Um, I think that they'd be really fun, they'd be really interesting, but I don't know if, I wanna make sure that you guys aren't getting tired of Skyrim. So that's that's really what I'm concerned about. So uh, let me know again down in the comments. Um, 
one thing that I've done in the past a, a couple times is just kind of giving some opinion pieces on things that have happened in the industry. Google Stadia is probably the best known uh, example of this. I've given my thoughts on Stadia. I'm not optimistic about it, but let me know if you guys want me to give opinions on you know, other pieces of the industry, if that's something you're interested in, uh, just seeing, you know, kind of me off the cuff, just, you know, here's my thoughts on whatever it is, you know, Cyberpunk 277 controversies, or Stadia again, or Xbox Gold did this, or uh, whatever, whatever it is that you're interested in, WoW Classic, like, that's a new thing uh, that, that just happened a few days ago, so let me know if that's something you're interested in down in the comments. Uh, similar to that, doing a gaming news roundup. So like doing like a weekly thing. So like every Saturday or every Sunday, just kind of going through, here are the big stories from gaming. Here's what I think about them and just kind of talking about that. So those are two are kind of similar. Um, the opinion piece is more of just like, here's something that happened. Here's why I think should they sh like is the right move, that sort of thing. And then the gaming roundup is just like, here's some of the big things that came out. Maybe here's like the biggest new release or updates and just kind of informational rather than like an opinion piece. And I want, again, I want to make that distinction very clear. Like informational is one thing where I'm just reporting facts and then opinion pieces where like here are the facts and then this is what I think of them. I don't want to mix up like... I think that modern journalism, that's a real problem where people present facts in such a way that it supports their opinion rather than just here are the facts, here's my opinion, and like keeping those two things separate. Um, so again, Gaming News Roundup is one series. Um, my Opinion Pieces is another series. Let me know if you're interested in either of those down in the comments. Um, I recently picked, I'm, for all the, for all the RPGs that I play, I, my main roundhouse is actually, uh, my main wheelhouse is actually like strategy games, uh, which is why I loved playing StarCraft II on the channel. Um, but I recently picked up basically all the rest of the DLC for Crusader Kings 2. So if you're interested in a Crusader Kings 2 series or Let's Play or something like that, let me know. That's something that I could potentially do. There's some cool mods with that. So obviously you could just do the original, just do the, the vanilla stuff. But there's also... Um, Game of Thrones. There's a Game of Thrones mod that we could potentially do. There's also a an Elder Scrolls mod that I've tried out and I've played a couple times. Um, that that one's pretty fun too. So if you're interested in either of those, so just vanilla CK2, uh, Elder Scrolls, or Game of Thrones style mods, let me know down in the comments. So those are kind of the ideas I have. There's a fly going around here. Get away! Come on, you're interrupting. All right. So those are my ideas for some new series. If there is another series that you are interested in, if you've got some uh, an idea, leave that down in the comments. But again, Greedfall, Outer Worlds, Minecraft Community Worlds, both survival and creative, uh, more Skyrim, uh, gaming news roundup, gaming opinions, uh, game reviews. I didn't talk about this one. Thank good. Um, game reviews. I have done a number of like indie game reviews in the past. If you want me to do more game reviews like that, let me know. I would love to do more game reviews, but just something that I've kind of fell off on doing in the past couple months because things have gotten really busy. Um, so if you're interested in game reviews, let me know. Uh, or CK2, I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like nine different options. So just rank them from like one to eight, one to nine and, uh, down in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Again, I really want your feedback. And again, I want to deliver the best value to you guys that I possibly can. So please in the comments, tell me what you want and I will try and craft this channel around that. So. Thanks again for your time. Thank you for your eternal viewership. I'm so grateful. Uh, every comment means the world to me. You guys are what keep, keeps me going. And uh, I can't thank you enough. So, pylons, long life to you friends, and have a great day.